some glasses. No hat. We're rolling. Hey everybody, my name's Wes Nielsen. I'm the guy behind the camera of the Daily Driver Project. Now what's crazy is now I'm suddenly on the other side of the camera, which is a little weird to me. I mean, I've been on the other side of the camera. I have a buddy Fireball who actually convinced me to start vlogging, so I'm starting to vlog. Um, I'm going to give you a little history about the Daily Driver Project. It started out in 2013. Um, how it all kind of sprang to come about was I was out to lunch in the city of Orange with a very good friend of mine. And she and I were having lunch and we're, I was talking about how the fact that I had missed being in the automotive industry. So I was basically, we were walking along and we saw this fantastic view of Riviera took a picture of it and as we're walking and talking and whatever I decided that uh, with a little convincing from her that we would I would start a website called the Daily Driver Project. Now the reason it's called that is actually because it's all about the older cars being on the road. So the whole concept is is that we want older cars to be driven. They don't have to be daily drivers but I'm bringing you five days a week a picture of a car on the street being driven that's an older car that's what basically that's where it came from um, a little something about the logo the logo is actually my father um, it's uh, was originally done as a t-shirt without the gear around it just the face um, for MS walk and my father had 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 um, MS and so I had done the logo for that Okay, so sorry for the interruption. That was the buzzer for longer. Continuing on. So, as I was saying, so we did the logos my dad, started out in 2013, really started in 2012-ish with the idea and putting the website together. Actually land, launched in January of 2013. So, as we move on, to give you an idea, you, if, you're, if you're wanting to start uh, Instagram posts, Facebook page, anything else you want to start shooting, don't think that you have to have the major camera. I started with this point and shoot. That was how it started. It didn't start with fancy equipment or anything else. It just started with a simple point and shoot. And then, as I went along, I actually had a friend of mine give me a DSLR. And I worked with that for a while and then I upgraded to the camera that I'm shooting with right now. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do part of this vlog is we're going to, uh, besides taking you out to the car shows and doing everything else that I do, I'm also going to teach you about uh, how to shoot a car at a car show. I, You know, there's not really a lot of stuff to tell you how to shoot at a car show or, or kind of how how to shoot car. There's, there's a few videos out there and stuff on how to shoot cars, but there's car shows are very different animals. So you don't, you know, when you get a car and you're going to shoot a feature, you can shoot it any way you want. You've got time, you've got set up, it's really easy, but at a car show, it's a set time. There's people around, the sun is all over the place, it's just utter chaos. But there are things that you can look at, you look at uh, where the sun's coming from, you know, shadows and so on, you just have to look at those things. So I'll help you teach you in, in future vlogs about that kind of stuff. And, you know, we're going to take you on automotive adventures, hopefully. Uh, hopefully you dig what, what's coming along, and this is kind of my first vlog, which is weird to say that I'm sitting on this side of the camera instead of that side of the camera. But that's what we're all about here, is that trying to share the passion that is automotive. I mean, one of the things that, besides loving cars in general, is that I love to shoot the details. So I am in love with emblems. Love emblems. It's, I don't know why it is, but there's just something about the typography that is an emblem. There's just the style. It sticks out, so on and so forth. There's just so many cool things. The details of a car, the fins and the moldings and the way a curve of a fender. Holy map. Okay, I'm going on too much about cars. Anyway, well, that's what we're about. But you get what I'm saying. It's all about this, that kind of passion. I want to share my passion with you guys. You just kind of ramble. I'm rambling. I feel like I'm really like talking with my hands. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I get nervous. I talk faster. Just so you know, when I get nervous, which I'm a little nervous right now, I talk faster. And if I'm excited, I get loud. So just two quirks about me. Now you know. So, 
I'm hoping that there will be many more of these. Actually, I know there will be many more of these because I'm just going to continue going no matter what. So, with that, hopefully you will subscribe, check it out, like this video for my first vlog post. You've probably, hopefully, already seen some of my past videos that were covering car shows and events that are in Southern California because that's what I do is cover car shows and car-related events in Southern California. And also, uh, like this video. I think I may have already said that. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. So I'm working on doing my intro video, and there's an ice cream truck up the street from my place. I think he's hit gold because he hasn't moved and his music is just over and over and dead, repeating, killing me. And it makes me want ice cream too. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see more street spots and car show coverage and some of the other old car automotive goodness, you can check it out right here dealerdriverproject.com. Uh, you can also see the link down below in the show notes along with all my social media stuff. Check those out too. Instagram, Pinterest, blah, blah, blah. I can't even think of Facebook, so on and so forth. There's lots of them, you know, nowadays. So, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you check out my buddy Fireball, who of course I mentioned in the vlog, who started me on this whole vlog thing. He's been vlogging for years now. It's craziness. Craziness. He's an awesome automotive movie car artist and all kinds of other fun stuff that he does. Of course, check me out. Don't forget that. Look at more videos over here and more of my past videos there. Appreciate you stopping by. That's a lot of arms crossing, isn't it?